Hey, what's up? This is Chosen, and this video is going to be my updated raid offer calculator, so let's get into it. Alrighty, so I'll go ahead and pull it up. This is the offer calculator I've been working on for a few days here. Um, you know, I wanted to do one of these because my last offer calculator, my video that I did a few months ago, is kind of out of date now. You know, since then, the game has changed and they've added chicken. And in my last video, I didn't have books, you know, skill books included in there. So I wanted to get a nice, new, fresh, up to date offer calculator out to the community you know for people that are interested in stuff like this one quick note uh, or well, a few quick notes i want to make here is um you know this is going to be a resource for people that you know are intending to spend money on raid and to progress you know quickly but you know if you're a free-to-play player there's nothing wrong with that that's great but if you are free to play you know this video and this resource probably isn't going to be a lot of value to you i guess it, it might be interesting for you to see uh, you know, an end game player's perspective who does invest money in the game, kind of how I value things and, and when I would or wouldn't spend money. So I guess it, it could be interesting to you in that sense, but the tool itself probably isn't going to be super useful to free to play players. It's, it's more intended for people who are looking to invest in their rate account. So um, another quick note here, is, um, you know, to use slash alter the sheet, click file, make a copy to copy it to your own account so that you can input values. Um, you know, this means you're going to want to go to file and then click make a copy. And I believe to do this, you will want to be logged into your Google Sheets account. What that's going to do is copy the spreadsheet to your account. That way, you know, you can alter it and change it around yourself without changing my master sheet. Um, you know, you can, when you copy it to your own account, you can actually change these values. You know, uh, like say you value void shards as $7 a piece. You can just put a seven here and you can alt, and then you'll have a, you know, a calculator. You can really tailor the calculator to fit you. You know, I value void shards as about 5.1 right now. But, you know, it, this is intended to be a starting point, not the be all end all for the entire community. You know, feel free to copy it to your, you know, uh, Google account and then change the values around if you want. And you can really get this tailor made to be specific to you. You don't have to go off of my numbers. This is just a starting point if you're interested to see how I feel about things. Um, you know, also, I did lower silver pretty significantly since my last video because I can swear that they made it tougher to art, uh, to upgrade artifacts from 12 to 16. It seems like from 1 to 12 is pretty much about the same, but maybe I'm just wearing a tinfoil hat here, but it seems like since the last big patch about a month ago, it takes a lot more silver to go from rank 12 to rank 16 on an artifact. So because of that, I had to uh, saturate the value of silver down just a little bit and, and make it not worth not quite as much. But feel free, like I said, to alter that number if you think silver is worth a little bit more to you. Uh, once we start putting things in, we will see the chosen buy price light up. And that's going to be, you know, based off what we've put in. That's kind of the price point that I would be willing to kind of jump in and spend money if I were looking to invest in raid that day. You know, the, the arrows here, we can see an arrow pointing down here. That's going to be where you need to input you know, the, the quantity of, of what's being offered. And then there's another uh, arrow over here that points towards the input price. You're going to need to input the in-game price so that the, the sheet can kind of calculate and work things out. So I'll, I'll dive in and show an example here. So right now in the, the void summoning pack that I'm being offered, let's go ahead and input it here. So the let's start and just go through the void shards, 12 of them, and boom, we can see that it lights up what what i would be interested in buying those 12 void charts for and then it will just keep adding on to that so we've got 35 brews boom we've got 1250 gems boom 1 million silver so when you're inputting the silver every million is six zeros so we just go one and then one two three four five six and then once we hit enter it will add the commas so that's easy to read that it is indeed one million so now we can uh, have to input the price so that it knows if it's a good value or not 69.99 and then it lights up the offer score to be color coded in in what i think the offer is i think it's decent 
and my uh, my buy price that I would be interested in is about $63. So this is probably an offer that I'm going to pass on. It's it's just a little bit outside of the price range that I think I would be interested in paying for. So that kind of shows you uh you know what I think about the offer in general. And you know in terms of gear, I should probably go over let's go ahead and clear this all out. I should probably go over Uh, you know how to do gear so here we have a divine critical rate set a pretty good set and what I like to do for gear offers is go ahead and input the the things that I can which is energy and gems so we can see here that it brings me up a buy price of about 1050 and you know so th with the offer being $25 I have to ask myself is this gear worth gambling on for 14 or 15 dollars um so gear in general this is five star legendary of a pretty good set divine crit, divine crit rate is pretty decent it's not not trash not god tier pretty decent uh you know in this case specifically i would probably pass uh you know because there's a good chance you spend that 14 or 15 dollars to gamble the gear and all six pieces are garbage and you end up just selling it for a little bit of silver so uh you know for this offer i would probably be more interested in about the 18 to 19 dollar range so that i'm not having to spend so much to gamble on pieces that might be really bad uh you know i just don't see enough consistent value on an offer like this but this is why i can't really put you know gear on the sheet you can if you want to go through and price every set out go ahead and add the cells and put it in you know you uh you're, you're obviously welcome to do that but it, it's just too hard because every set has different values you know obviously the divine speed set is going to be worth a lot more than like the stun set you know uh, so you, there's certain it's just too hard to get a consistent baseline of value when it comes to calculating these out um, you know, I got the last updated place here. Uh, you know, another thing is chicken was really tough to value. I sat down for a while and really tried to come up with a price on the chicken, which is tough. Um, you know, so you can see the values I came up with there. You're obviously free to adjust those as you see fit. And yeah, that kind of covers everything i wanted to go over in this video i will do my best to keep this up to date and kind of edit it as we go along and you know this is intended to be a starting point for you so feel free to play with those numbers as you see fit and and kind of adjust everything to tailor make it for yourself so yeah hopefully this helps you out if you have any questions drop it down in the comments i'll do my best to help you out and also let me know your input and and what you think if you think i value things too low or too high definitely you know let me know if you agree or disagree i always like to hear what you guys uh, have to say so yeah thank you for watching have a good rest of your day peace